Hello everyone. So as I teased in my ice cream bean seed roasting video, I'm going to do something a little bit unorthodox with my uh, ice cream bean pulp. And what that is, I'm going to make ice cream bean ice cream. Yep, you guys asked for it, so I'm going to do it. I don't know if this is going to taste good at all because this is a very, very mild, <laughs> very, very mild fruit. So it's kind of sweet with like a little hint of cinnamon to it. So I'm not expecting this to really taste like much of anything but just like cream flavored ice cream. But who knows? It might be incredible. So we're going to try it. We'll see what happens. Uh, how I'm going to do this is by a no churn ice cream method. So I don't have an ice cream machine, but I'm going to do like a really quick and easy way to make ice cream. A lot of YouTube videos explaining how to do this, so I'm just going to tell you, like, in a nutshell, how I'm doing it as well. In a bowl, I'm going to put one entire cup of heavy whipping cream, and I'm going to whip this until it reaches stiff peaks. Next, I'm going to take a cup of sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to whip this for about one minute. So I only have a half of a cup of the pulp, and usually for this sort of recipe you'd want an entire cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually divide this, I'm going to make two batches. So I'm going to take this and put about half of it into a Tupperware. That looks about right. And I'm going to add my pulp and I'm going to blend it for like another 30 seconds or so. So I'm going to divide this into two single serve portions of ice cream. The other half of it, in case you're curious what I'm going to do, this little grinder right here is full of cardamom. So I'm going to grind some cardamom in here. This is rose water. I'm going to take about, let's say about a teaspoon of rose water. Okay, so I'm going to take my little ice creams, going to put them in the freezer, and I will see you tomorrow. And they're done. That's pretty impressive. I mean, it looks like ice cream, even though it's not um, it's not churned. It does actually look like ice cream. This is a surefire way to make your ice cream bean taste like ice cream. But the flavor of that ice cream is basically plain. <laughs> it does contribute a little bit, They're, especially when you get one of the little pieces. The pieces give it texture. That's good. The um, flavor is maybe a little bit more nutty tasting, but not that much. It tastes kind of like uh, like a vanilla ice cream rather than just a plain ice cream. There's like a little bit of like a beaniness to it, but not as much as you'd get from vanilla. So uh, not really a whole lot going on in there, honestly. I have an idea. I'm going to take some of my ice cream bean seeds, sprinkle those on top. Now that is kind of like a bizarre thing to do, but... Um, it's going to add flavor, <laughs> that's for sure. Those things are chewy. So, it slows you down a bit. The salt is nice. And the little bit of lime that's on it also like brings out a little bit more flavor. So, um, yeah, I actually prefer it with the, um, the seeds on top. 
and it's a way to use the entire ice cream bean, make some ice cream bean ice cream, and then put ice cream bean seeds on top. I don't recommend that anyone does this. Uh, <laughs> it's not it's not worth the trouble. I'd say there's like a million other types of ice cream that you could make that would have more flavor to it. But it is a very silly thing to do, and I'm all for doing silly things. So um, I'm glad that I did this. Would never do it again, though. And in case you're wondering what my other ice cream tastes like, the one that has cardamom and rose in it, this does not look like much of anything. Just has little specks in it. Let me try a bit of this. That is really good. Lots of cardamom. My god. I think I might have overdone it with the cardamom, but I like cardamom. <laughs> so um, I'll take it. And that rose in there is really, really tasty. This I would do again. And that, this is something that I could whip up very quickly. I don't even need to like take pulp uh, from fruit or anything like that. You just put like a little bit of that rose water, a little bit of cardamom, and this is delicious. It tastes a lot like um, Indian ice cream, or is it kulfi, I believe it's called. Uh, I get it all the time uh, in my neighborhood because I live in an Indian neighborhood, and it's really, really good. It comes on like little sticks. This tastes very much like uh, like a rose or cardamom kulfi. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I would totally make this again. The ice cream bean, not so much. But what if we take the two and mix them together? That's that's a good idea. Better. It is better. So if you want to make ice cream bean ice cream for some dumb reason, put the seeds on there, mix some other things into it so it has more flavor. I mean, it makes using the ice cream bean pulp completely meaningless, but it would make the ice cream better. So I would recommend eating the ice cream bean fruit as is. <laughs> Don't turn it into ice cream. Roast the seeds though, that is a good thing to do. And while you're at it, if you're going to make ice cream, try doing something else. Make the rose water and cardamom one, because that is scrumptious. All right, so that's about it, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.